Undeniably, Zio Zan and Yang Yang, two handsome 9x male star in China according to the vote. In the glittering world of Chinese entertainment, few names shine as brightly as Zio Zan and Yang Yang. These two actors, both born in 1991, have not only captured the hearts of millions with their charm but have also become regulars in various rankings of the most handsome male celebrities born in the 90s. But what makes these two stand out in and in? Despite the debate surrounding the acting skills of the 90s generation of male stars and Chinese showbiz, there is one thing that fans and critics alike can agree on, Zio Zan and Yang Yang possess extraordinary physical appeal. In every beauty ranking, their names are never absent. Whether it's Zio Zan's classical, aristocratic look or Yang Yang's delicate, almost ethereal features, these two have set a standard for male beauty that is hard to match. Yang Yang, with nearly two decades of experience in the industry, has starred in numerous successful films and dramas, consistently earning praise from filmmakers. His upcoming film, Mortals Cultivate Immortals, 2024, is already generating buzz, with many expecting it to be one of the year's most anticipated releases. While some may question his acting, no one can deny that Yang Yang's appearance has always been flawless. His sharp, yet gentle features combine softness with strength, a look that has placed him at the top of beauty rankings time and again. On the other hand, Zio Zun, who rose to fame with his role in The Untamed, continues to expand his repertoire with diverse roles, winning over audiences with each performance. Zio Zun's face, with its classic and handsome lines, fits perfectly into both historical and modern settings, making him a versatile actor who can tackle any role. But what truly sets Zio Zun apart is his radiant smile, a feature that makes him irresistible to fans. As the debate over their acting continues, one thing remains certain, Zio Zun and Yang Yang are here to stay. Their consistent presence in beauty rankings and their undeniable charm ensure that they will remain at the forefront of Chinese showbiz. Want to see more of their stunning looks and captivating performances? Check out the video to witness firsthand why Zio Zun and Yang Yang are the reigning kings of the 90s handsome actor rankings in Chinese entertainment. Zhu Yelin's recent win of the Best Actor Award at the 100 Flowers Awards has sparked significant debate and controversy within the entertainment industry and among fans. While the actor's performance has been praised by some, the circumstances surrounding his victory have led to a broader conversation about the credibility and relevance of the awards themselves. This year's ceremony, marked by a high number of abstentions, a fiercely competitive field, and the conspicuous absence of several nominees, has raised the questions about the voting process and the value of such accolades in an increasingly fragmented and opinionated industry. The controversy surrounding the voting process. One of the most glaring issues with Zhu Yelin's win is the fact that more people abstained from voting than those who cast their ballots in his favor. This alone casts a shadow over the legitimacy of the award. In a competition where the majority of voters choose to abstain rather than support any candidate, it suggests a lack of consensus or enthusiasm for the nominees. Such an outcome is particularly troubling in an industry where public and professional opinion often drives success and recognition. The abstention rate indicates a deeper problem within the voting process. It raises the possibility that the pool of nominees may not have resonated with the voters, or that the criteria for nomination and selection are out of touch with the preferences of the voting body. This disconnect can undermine the credibility of the award, making it seem less like a recognition of excellence and more like a token gesture. For Zhu Yelin, this means that his win, rather than being celebrated unequivocally, is viewed with skepticism, which is unfair to an actor who has likely worked hard to earn his place in the industry. Fierce Competition and the Absence of Nominees the fierce competition among male actors at this year's 100 Flowers Awards further complicates the narrative. In a highly competitive environment, winning should be seen as a significant achievement. However, when the competition is so intense that it results in a fragmented vote and widespread abstentions, it suggests that the voters were either undecided or unimpressed by the available choices. 
This dilutes the value of the victory, turning what should be a moment of triumph into a contentious issue. Moreover, the absence of several nominees from the ceremony adds another layer of controversy. When nominees choose not to attend, it can be interpreted in several ways, either as a protest against the process, a lack of interest in the outcome, or scheduling conflicts. However, in the context of an award ceremony, the absence of key contenders can diminish the event's significance. It sends a message that the award, regardless of its history or prestige, may not be as highly regarded by those within the industry as it once was. This perception is damaging not only to the award itself but also to the careers of those who are recognized by it. Molly's victory and the broader implications. In contrast, Molly's win as Best Actress at the same ceremony has not been met with the same level of controversy. This could be due to a stronger consensus among voters or perhaps a more straightforward competition in the female acting category. However, it highlights a broader issue within the industry, the disparity in how male and female actors are perceived and awarded. Molly's victory, seemingly more straightforward, suggests that when a clear favorite exists, the voting process works as intended. But when the field is less clear-cut, as in the case of Zuyelin, the system appears to falter. The contrast between the reception of Zuyelin's and Molly's wins underscores the complexities of award ceremonies in today's entertainment landscape. These events are meant to celebrate and recognize talent, but they are also subject to the biases, preferences, and politics of those involved in the voting process. When these factors come into play, they can distort the outcome, leading to controversies that overshadow the achievements of the winners. The Future of the Hundred Flowers Awards The controversy surrounding this year's Hundred Flowers Awards raises important questions about the future of such ceremonies. As the entertainment industry continues to evolve, so too must the methods by which we recognize and celebrate talent. The high abstention rate and the absence of nominees suggest that the current system may be out of step with the realities of the industry. Perhaps it is time for a reassessment of the voting process, the criteria for nomination, and the overall purpose of the awards. For Zhu Yelin, this win is bittersweet. While it is an acknowledgement of his work, the circumstances surrounding it have diminished its impact. It is a reminder that awards, while valuable, are not the sole measure of an actor's worth or success. True recognition comes from the audience, the critics, and the peers who genuinely appreciate and understand the work. In conclusion, the controversy surrounding Zhu Yelin's win at the Hundred Flowers Awards is a reflection of the broader challenges facing the entertainment industry. As audiences and professionals alike become more discerning, the traditional methods of awarding excellence must adapt or risk becoming irrelevant. For now, Zhu Yelin's win will remain a topic of debate, but it also serves as a catalyst for necessary change within the industry.